Hey guys, we just got done riding BMW's new 2020 F900XR. This is an all new adventure sport categorized motorcycle for BMW. Now what BMW's done is they've completely revamped this middleweight parallel twin platform. It's got a larger displacement 895cc parallel twin with a unique 270 by 450 engine firing order. And what this firing order does is it mimics the power pulses of a V-twin. So you have all of the advantages of a V-twin, including torquey immediate feel, the shake, rattle, and roll of the V-twin, and just the sound that a V-twin motorcycle makes. Yet you have it in a much more compact configuration. You gotta remember V-twins, they take up a lot of space. Parallel twins are much more narrow, much more compact, a lot more freedom in where you put that engine inside the chassis. What I like about it the most is the styling. Uh, this bike looks very, very pretty, especially in this gold paint trim it has. Uh, it's a very aesthetically pleasing motorcycle. I like the lines of it. I like how compact it is. When you're sitting aboard this bike, it doesn't feel too big, it's not too long, it's not too wide. It's a very compact, yet properly ergonomically proportioned motorcycle. I'm six foot tall, I weigh about 185 pounds right now, and I fit on this motorcycle very well. Uh, I like the more rearward and upright riding position this bike has versus its F900R brother. I also like the full fairing, which does a really good job from sheltering you from the elements. The manual adjustable windscreen, it has high and low positions, which is nice. I wish the windscreen went a little bit higher in its taller position, but still it's nothing to, to gripe about. It works very well. Uh, other things I like about this motorcycle is just the, the 6.5 inch color TFT display. This display is probably one of the finest dashboard displays on any motorcycle made. BMW started using this displays on most of its uh, 2019 and newer motorcycles and it's just a really slick setup. Uh, you can manipulate the controls via BMW's proprietary multi-function wheel. It takes a little bit of time to acclimate to its many navigation system, but once you get a hang for it, it's actually really easy to use, and there's a lot of data in there. You can also pair the display to your smartphone. I operate with an Apple iOS-enabled phone, and it's easy to download the software. It's free, and you can easily pair it to the bike. You can monitor things like the fuel level, it actually gives you turn-by-turn -turn navigation on the screen. So let's say you don't have a Bluetooth-enabled headset. You can literally navigate to your destination using your phone and using the display. It's a very slick setup. Kudos to BMW for getting it right. Let's move on to the powertrain. We talked a little bit about the engine. 895cc parallel twin powers this thing. And I really like this engine. It's smooth when you want it to be smooth. It has character when you want it to have character. It has a ton of power at any RPM. You can rev this thing up to its red line or lug it around in top gear at 3,000 RPM and it engine pulls really well. It's really actually amazing how much power, how much immediate power this little engine has. And of course that unique 270 450 entering fire order, it really does mimic the characteristic of a V-twin well, there's another competitor to BMW just south of them with their LC8C engine, which uses that same technology, but BMW did it better. Handling on this motorcycle, for a 483 pound bike, that's some serious weight, but this motorcycle has a good deal of agility. It turns directions very easily. The suspension on this bike, the fork specifically, it's one of the best forks I've ridden on on a bike in this category. Damping's fixed but the shock has a handy remote preload adjustment lever, which makes it easy to raise or lower the back of the bike based on your handling preference or if you have a person on the back. The shock also has rebound damping adjustment, so you can control that. But even in the OE settings, this bike handles really well. This bike has a little bit extra suspension stroke compared to the F900R. The spring rate and the valving's also been tweaked a little bit for, for its use, but a very nice handling motorcycle from BMW. The Michelin Pilot Road 5 GT tires aren't quite as grippy as the Batlax S21s 
on the F900R, but these tires still work really well. But in inclement weather with all the grooves this tire has, this bike will be a really good go-to solution if you're riding in, in really wet weather. This particular F900XR is outfitted with BMW's optional $250 plastic hand grips. These do a good job of blocking the wind and keeping your hands a little bit warmer. It's kind of strange, but this bike actually does not have heated grips or cruise control. Those are available as an option, and this test bike didn't have it, which is strange for BMW. But that's how they're trying to hit the $11,700 MSRP on this bike. This bike also has BMW's optional $350 Ride Modes Pro. And what that does is it unlocks two additional engine throttle ABS traction control power settings. This bike comes standard with rain and road. Ride Modes Pro unlocks Dynamic and Dynamic Pro. And what that does is it allows you to ride the motorcycle a little harder. It has a little bit more intimate throttle response, a little bit more peppy engine response and ABS and ASC traction control settings now benefit from IMU power system, which factors in bank angle and pitch to help curtail loss of traction when you're on the brakes or on the throttle. For $350, we would absolutely for sure invest in the Ride Modes Pro setting. It's really good. There wasn't a lot of difference, I could tell, between the Dynamic and Dynamic Pro setting, but either setting worked well. Uh, you could really ride the bike very hard without having to worry about losing control. It's a very, very well calibrated electronic system. Of course, you can always disable ASC if you want, if you want to feel like popping wheelies or doing some stunts for, for in front of your friends and family. Uh, ABS, conversely, though, you cannot turn off. Uh, the European Union has made a new law where it's now illegal to have street bikes where you can disable ABS. And BMW is following that rule, and this bike has fixed ABS. You can't turn that off, which is kind of a bummer, but to be fair, the ABS calibration in any of the settings we used was so well that I don't even know why you turn it off anyways. Overall, just another fantastic motorcycle from the Motorrad crew. Uh, probably the only gripe I have about this bike is just its asking price, $2,700 more than the F900R. And for that price, what do you get? You get longer travel suspension, you get a front fairing, a little bit more relaxed ergonomics. and. You know, it's gonna be really hard to, to dole out the extra money for those features. I know personally, I'd probably more gravitate toward the F900R just because it's got so much more valuable value. But at the same time, if you're looking for a comfortable multi-purpose adventure sport bike that you can ride on the freeway, you can go touring on, you can run errands around town on, you can carve up the twisties on the weekend, bring a passenger, this F900XR would be a bike I would like to do it on. All right, guys, that's a wrap from the 2020 F900XR review. Please visit our site, MotorcyclistOnline.com, to read the preview article, read the road test. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you can see all the great content we'll be unveiling here in the future. And thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.